morning friends I um, welcome to the vlog <laughs> um, some of you might be wondering why we're posting on a Tuesday when normally we only post Wednesday and Friday um, which I'll tell you more about later um, but surprise we're here on a Tuesday I am getting ready for work I just had a nice morning routine I'm feeling very Good. I had a nice restful weekend. We celebrated early Christmas this weekend with the kiddo. We call it early Christmas because whoever doesn't have the kiddo on Christmas Day, like we had the kiddo for Thanksgiving, so we don't have Christmas this year, and next year we'll have Christmas, and his mom will have Thanksgiving. Um, we do early Christmas, so the last weekend before the kiddo goes back to the other parent's house. We celebrate Christmas together as a fam, so that was really nice. And then Sunday, we just did like a cozy closed day and stayed in. It was so, so good. And so because I had such a good weekend, that means I'm ready to go back to work. I'm like eager. It's Monday morning. I'm ready to go. So that feels nice as well. We are, I'm starting a new thing and probably should wait until after my sabbatical in January to really do this, but I'm going to start it today, um, where every Monday is like a really strict admin day and every Friday is a really strict CEO day, meaning that I am creating time to work in my business <laughs> instead of just on my business because normally... I try to carve out time for that, but that's like the first thing that gets deprioritized for me as a person. So, um, yeah, I'm working on that. Granted, today is admin day technically, but the way that the holidays work is just like, Mondays are just my crazy day anyway. I try to get all of my work out of the way on Monday as much as I possibly can. And then the rest of the week is kind of like filling in the gaps. So there's only so much I can do until I come back from sabbatical in that regard. But I, we're playing with it. I'm gonna draw the list up today of like what each of those days should look like. I have an advent calendar. I, um, so normally, if you've been here for Vlogmas in the past, I get the Anthropology skincare calendar because it's amazing. <laughs> like, it's expensive though, it's like $100, and then for the year, you get like, you know, a really nice sample of a skincare product um, or like a body care product from like really good brands. But this year Target came out with one and it was like $25. And I was like, that's, that sounds nice. I will say it's like not as good. Like it's really not as good. Also, I'm just realizing it's only got 12 days. I just realized that <laughs> for the first time. So I'm on the last day. Oops. There was also a day that I didn't get anything. Like day four, there's this whole big section and there's just nothing in it. Um, once I open today's, I'll tell you what that was supposed to be. But let's open the last day together 
Day 12 is, oh, four slid over. Perfect. So this was day four. Um, <clears throat> it's a hair mask, I think. And then <laughs> day 12 was, um, Corel lotion. It was not, it was not the, not the same. Um, I'll be honest. And now it's over. So less exciting stuff. Um, it, I honestly got like three face washes, <laughs> three moisturizers, and then these things and like some other random stuff. It was just like not, the anthropology one is totally worth it in my opinion, especially because I travel so much. I used it all year last year, all those samples as like travel skincare and travel um, body care. And that was awesome. I loved it. But anyway, that's okay. Um, now oh, I need to get ready to go to the office. Holiday party at the office today, the co work. So that'll be cute. And mostly it's, it's, a, it's a work day. That's the main objective. But right now I need to get dressed because I can't wear these pajamas. I, mean, I guess I technically could. I'm not gonna wear these pajamas. So let's get dressed. And <laughs> let's go. I love your outfit. It's so cute. Thank you. Yeah. It's so sweet. What's up? All right, so I just dropped into Trader Joe's um, and got myself some lunch. I got a harvest salad. It has green beans, chicken, corn, white cheddar, tomatoes, hard boiled egg, lettuce, and Dijon dressing. Sounds amazing. And then some cotton candy grapes. I like to buy like a big thing of fruit on Monday and just keep it at the office. It's like my favorite thing to snack on. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, and now I'm heading in to work officially. It's, it's happening. And it's like 10, 13. I don't know. I don't know why I told you the time. This is so sad. news this morning not that I mean it sounds deeper than it is but I use this extension on my chrome called identity and it is everything to me <laughs> my productivity has gone up so much just from having it as the way that I like keep track of tasks and the way I toggle between um like browsers and it's going out of business so I just like logged in today to like type up my to-do list and it's no longer in existence like I literally just quit existing which ultimately is like not a big deal. It just means I need to find a new system because that was working so well for me. And so I was like on the lookout, I downloaded like three different things to try. None of them were like exactly what I was looking for. Like this thing had everything, right? It like organized my browsers so that it was like really easy to like toggle between the things that I use most often. It had a to-do list feature, which I could leave. It wasn't like my notes on my phone and my apple cloud or whatever are so well used <laughs> that it 
it's not functional for me to like keep my to-do list in there because it's just like I'm keeping so much stuff in there already. Um, and then I, I also liked having it in my browser because it was like not distracting to like open. I didn't have to open up like another tab. I also had a Pomodoro timer on it. Like it had everything <laughs> and um, I'm going to really miss it. And so I'm trying to figure out a new solution. I tried all these different apps. None of them worked. And so I'm trying Notion now, which I use Notion, but mostly just for like personal stuff. I don't really use it for work. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I think it's because Notion, basically you can customize it. So I'm basically just going to make identity and Notion for myself if I can. Um, but all of that just like, I got so distracted by that when I first got here that like pretty much the first hour of work is gone and it's almost time for like the holiday party thing, which I want to make time for because you're supposed to socialize as a person and um, even if that's like, it's not really like my <laughs> thing. Um, it's not something that I'm like really excited to do, but I do think it's like healthy. <laughs> or whatever I don't know um so yeah but also my editor didn't send my podcast until like 9 p.m last night so I need to schedule today's podcast but I got so distracted by that identity situation that I haven't scheduled a podcast yet and it's like um I normally put it up in the middle of the night so I'm frustrated by that as well pretty weird start to the day um, it's like five minutes to the holiday party. I need to call my mom. She texted and asked if I could call. So I'm going to call her and then I'll go schedule a podcast and then we'll go to the holiday party. See what's up. Hey, Rosie. Hey. I just wanted to ask permission for something I already did. <laughs> okay. Personally, yeah, I know it's okay. I got, I got 40 gift cards for Madison. Oh, coming. that's sweet. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. He'll think that's funny because they know that I, we weren't allowed to say fart growing up. So he's going to think that's so funny. Oh, yeah. No, it's funny. <laughs> I love you too, Mom. Bye. Mom said, um, I just wanted to call and ask permission for something that I already did. <laughs> Which is she just bought a book for our kiddo that said, um, this has the word fart in it. And we weren't allowed to say fart when we were kids. Um, so we used to torture my mom by going like fart, 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 fart. Um, and I actually told, told our kiddo about that and he thought it was like so funny that we weren't allowed to say that. So he'll think it's funny that the very one who enlisted that rule got them the book. So, um... Yeah, let's go we'll schedule a podcast and then figure out our life. So this is what we have so far for my dashboard. These are my tasks for today. This is project management. So this will go to, I haven't filled this out yet, the content ideas. These are all the websites I use regularly. I feel pretty good about it. So I am not close to done with work um but i'm heading to the coffee shop across the street to grab i think a shot of espresso 
Um, they close in like 30 minutes, so I think that'll be like a nice little easy thing. Um, one of the things I have to do today is read the manuscript of someone's book because I'm gonna write like a blurb to go on the outside of the book. So I thought I would take this down to get my espresso, read this while I drink it, and then we'll go back up and write the blurb, send it over. Um, I have just like a lot of things to do today. I took a long time doing my notion. I won't regret it, but it was time consuming. <laughs> So uh, we'll see how we'll see how the day goes. <laughs> Thank you. Here is where we are. Let me scare you closer. So I have most of my work done for today. I have an invoice and an intake form to send to a one-on-one -on -one client. I have a some graphics to make. And then I need to record some things and upload them. And then otherwise I think we're close to done. Um, I haven't really talked about this much, but that identity thing the app I used to use really threw me for a loop and that's why I've been so focused on getting a notion set up because it's just been a lifeblood for me over the last year so um it's just been so good for my brain so I wanted to get something as similar as possible up as fast as possible and I really like the notion I set up I think it's even going to be more functional for me than identity was because I can use notion on my ipad my phone my laptop like I had pretty much only identity set up here and I could have used it on my laptop but that's about it so I think it's going to be good um it's just you know a new getting a new system set up takes time that being said I yeah I feel like I got it to a good spot and I think it's going to be nice so right now I'm going to record my podcast for next Monday as well as my ad for this week for the podcast and then we'll go back in and wrap everything else up that we need to do <laughs> it's about 3 p.m. Um, and yeah I think we're in a pretty good good spot considering Hello friends, happy Monday. I hope your week has treated you well. Today we are kicking off a new series. We're not kicking off a new series. Hello friends, happy Monday. I hope your week has treated you well. Today we are continuing our series, the spin-off from a weekly coffee chat episodes, but adding a little spice in there with a shared time of reflection for 2023. Two, so grab yourself a coffee or a cup of tea and let's chat starting with today's rose bud and thorn
Hey, girl. Hey, honey. Um, I am just finishing up work. Okay. And was gonna see if you need anything, if you've gone to the grocery store yet, or if you'd like for me to- I haven't. I'm in the middle of um, helping Ford clean his Murphy's tank. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, but if, but I do have to go, so I can give you a list if you want to pick some stuff up for Yeah, me. I'll stop on the way home. Okay, I'll send you a list. Thanks, babe. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. He's all stressed. That's a stressed voice. Okay. Um, we are done with work for the day. It's like five o'clock. And um, yeah, I, I think as you just heard, I'm gonna stop by and get groceries for Obes on the way home. He's doing dinner tonight. So I'll show you what it looks like. I have this in it, which I'm not gonna use. But it looks like this. And that's the inside, which I'm so excited about. So I'm gonna try and put it in there. Water's boiling, my love. Um, so that's what it looks like in there. And then a pin holder. And I am hoping this will fit. I quit being a perfectionist about having a made bed this summer because I did like the summer of pleasure where I just let myself do whatever I wanted whenever I wanted and you know, obviously I have like parental responsibilities and career responsibilities but other than that like I just did whatever I wanted and one of the things I didn't want to do was make my bed and it has been so nice one of the reasons it's nice is because then when if it's like oops night to cook dinner I can come in here and just snuggle up and read a book um that's so good also I have my um pimple patches on I have four right now one two three four which is very abnormal for me um but I've been using some weird skincare stuff because of that advent calendar and uh I think I have regrets, you know what I mean? I don't think it was the right move. But I'm gonna sit here and read some of this book. I'm reading um, Jeanette McCurdy. I'm glad my mom died. I, I'll give you my thoughts on it real quick, which are basically just, I don't really love the voice um, because it's written kind of like a mix between the child like a childish voice 
with the adult perspective. I don't know, I, I just think that like my favorite writers who write memoir, they tend to be like not the hero of the story, if that makes sense. Like, um, it, they're like David Sedaris or Anne Lamont, like it's very self-deprecating and I think that's what I like. Not that you can do that every time, but that feels like more what I wanna read. Um, this feels very much like a tell-all. Like, I think that's more what this is. It's like a, like a Hollywood tell-all. And I'm fine with that. I'm happy to read it. It's just not what I expected because it's been so championed as like one of the greatest books of the year. And I wanted it. I just love a good memoir. So I was like really hoping for that. And there's another book um, that I felt that way about, that I felt nervous to even say I felt that way about, <laughs> because it's like people are dealing with really hard stuff, and like I want to honor that and respect that, and also, I'm pick I think I'm just like, I don't know, I feel like bad ever criticizing any book, because like, writing a book is hard, and I understand what it feels like, and it's not going to be for everybody, and um, who am I to criticize someone else's work? Um, because like we're all just doing the best we can. So I, I am hesitant to criticize anybody's work ever, but I'm just, I was hoping for something different, you know, and I went in hoping for something different and it's just not what I was like, went in hoping for, if that makes sense. But that's okay. Um, I set a reading goal. I'm going to finish it. Cause I mean, it's interesting to like, learn what like happened in someone's life when they were like very public I think part of it too is that I had never heard of her until this book so I didn't have like a sense of her as like a celebrity where I felt like I grew up watching her or something I didn't I didn't um maybe I would feel different about that but yeah I think it's just more of like a like any other celebrity memoir type book, you know? But, um, yeah, I'm gonna sit here and read it for a little while. I think I'm gonna close out the vlog here, um, just cause I think we're just gonna go have dinner a little bit and this is dark, you know? So I think we're gonna call it, but I really appreciate you guys joining me. I'm excited about Vlogmas. I hope you are too. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I think I'm gonna share, um, hopefully if I get my package tonight, it says it's gonna be here from like 7.30 to 9.30. I'm gonna do a little desk revamp tomorrow at the office. And I'm going to, I think, share my like entrepreneurial journey, like my story as an entrepreneur what that's looked like so I think that'll be fun and I'll, it'll just be normal vlog too but um yeah I'm excited for day two of vlogmas very very soon thanks for joining me and I will see you tomorrow bye